my peeps. How are you all doing today? It is Monday, November 14th. It has been a little bit over a week since I did my last video. Um, a lot of stuff to talk about and show you today. Lots happened. It was a rough week last week. First, I'll talk about what everyone's probably wondering about. Um, my biopsy status. If you saw my post on Stitch Mania, you know I do have cancer. It is stage one. The doctor uh, says the prognosis is excellent, that I will be fine. I have a surgery date of December 13th. Whole lot of hella appointments between now and then. I actually had an MRI today, which that wasn't, it wasn't great. It wasn't wonderful. None of that stuff is. I had blood work last Friday. Next Monday, I have a genetic test to see if I have the breast cancer gene, because if I do, the what I have to do is going to be very different. I probably will not just have surgery to remove it. I will probably have to decide whether I want a mastectomy or not, because if I don't get a mastectomy and I do have the breast cancer gene, the likelihood of me getting breast cancer again is great. Who wants that, right? Who wants that again? So if the breast, <laughs> if the genetic test comes back that I don't have the breast cancer gene, then uh, I'll go ahead with the surgery on December 13th. Two weeks after that, I have a follow-up with the surgeon. And then two weeks after that, I have to get radiation for six weeks, Monday through Friday, every day. Not looking forward to that, I'll be honest, because... Just driving up, now it's only like 15 minutes from my house luckily, but just driving there every day, Monday through Friday, and then having to be there for radiation. And luckily the side effects of radiation, according to the doctor, is only like a bad sunburn. And I might be tired after two weeks. Tired anyway, please. So, and then hopefully after the radiation, uh, I might have to take tamoxifen, which is a chemo pill for a bit of time. And then that'll be it and I'll be good. So, but thank you. Thank you all so much for your continued support, messages, private messages, emails, posts on Facebook. Some of you have made me videos. You'll see a lot of you have sent me gifts, which I'm just amazed and floored at. I'm so, so glad to have this community behind me. I don't have many friends. Jill is my best friend. I don't see her as much as I would like to. She lives an hour away from me. I have another group of stitching friends that live in the area, but I don't get to see them very much. So besides my husband and like my mom and my dad, that's it. I don't, I don't have a whole lot of people. So, but I have all of you and boy, you guys are fierce, man. I ever want to fight some kind of battle like a gladiator. You guys, you're my troops. So first I'm going to show you the gifts I've gotten from a couple of you because they're so wonderful. I'm moving something out of uh, pattern. Okay, first gift. Stephanie Messenger, who is, has become one of my really good friends on Facebook. She checks in with me all the time and we message back and forth and she's so great. Uh, she sent me a Raven's Needle Minder, which is so awesome because I do not have a Raven's Needle Minder, but I do now. So loving that. And then she knows I love coffee. So she sent me Stumptown Coffee. It's called Hairbender. That's right up my alley. Who doesn't want coffee that says Hairbender? So I got a coffee grinder because I didn't have one. And so I cannot wait to try this because if you see the little card, it says the tasting notes, cherry, toffee, and fudge. Oh my God. Yeah, can't wait to try that. So Stephanie, I thanked you on Facebook, but thank you so much. I look forward to using that coffee. Second gift I got was today from our lovely Kay's Cross Stitch. Her name is Kara. I, this morning, I actually meant to shoot this video like hours ago before my MRI. 
But my neighbor, and I've talked about her before, uh, she decided she wanted something printed. And long story short, they use our internet and I have a wireless printer. So she texted me, can she print something? And I just thought, if I start recording, she's going to knock on my damn door. And I don't like to pause the video if I don't have to. So by the time I did all that, it, my husband was home. We had to leave and I'm like, you know what, F that. I'm just going to film it now. So that's, yeah. So, but when I went to take her the printout, there was a package on my front step. Our lovely Kara sent me two candle holders, which, man, these have some heft. Like, if I ever wanted to, like, grab these and defend myself, I could do that. These are heavy. But I'm guessing a tea light fits in these. These are awesome. I love candles. Anything with candles. So I got those. She sent me some Stevens hot chocolate and said I could even use this as a coffee creamer. Oh my God, I cannot wait to try this. I might have a cup of that tonight. She also sent me a box of Walker's shortbread cookies. Never tried them. Gonna love to do that. And then she sent me her favorite cookies, she said, Tim Tams. Never tried them either. Oh my God, I can't wait to try this stuff. Coffee, cookies, I'm set. Now, but my favorite part of her package, she stitched me this Biscornu. Look at that. Love, love it. She said, think of this as a virtual hug when I touch it. I might actually take this with me the day of my surgery. We'll see, because I don't want to like get lost or anything, but we'll see. I love that. Kara, thank you so much for the whole package. Oh, and she also sent this cool card. It says you're awesome on it. Mm-hmm. Love that. Now, I did receive, I went to my stitch night Saturday night. Never, um, laugh, never laughed so hard. I swear. There, there's a story behind that, and I know all the ladies are waiting to see this video. We got to talking about going number two. Don't ask me how. I don't know. We just did. Oh, I know how. There was a commercial, and I'm going to try to insert the commercial here. Even Hollywood's latest sweetheart needs to punish the porcelain occasionally. But to stink the house out when you're with your Beverly Hills besties, how embarrassing. So I give every bathroom the VI Poo treatment. Spray generously before taking your seat, and VI Poo forms a protective layer, trapping the icky smell of your devil's donuts. Well, why let Tinseltown know you just bombed? So, no red faces in front of your boss, Hollywood's hottest director. Or for your coworkers, we'll catch a whiff from this morning's breakfast burrito. And VI Poo is guaranteed odor free, so I can poopulate anywhere with complete confidence. In you go, honey pie, all hunky dory. Now, I wouldn't dream of doing an encore in a bathroom that didn't have VI Poo. Even a VIP leads to VI Poo. Okay, I hope that showed up. If it did not, the commercial is for a product called VI Poo, which is a spray that you spray in the toilet before you go, number two. Okay, so we were talking about the commercial because I had never seen it, so I pulled it up on my phone and I was like, what the hell, if you see the, yeah. Now, the way it, the Stitch Night is set up, there's two big aisles in the store, there's two sets of long tables, you can almost hear everybody talking, okay? Well, most of the time people are talking 24, <laughs> I'm already starting to laugh, 24-7, like the whole time you're there, right? Oh, <laughs> so weird, like talking about this commercial. And then all of a sudden, one of the ladies that's at our table, and it was like someone deemed it like the perfect storm because all of a sudden it was like dead quiet, like nobody was talking. And no lie, she says really loud, when I take a large dump, and we were like, I said, the person's name I said, Oh my God, you said that so loud. 
we we laughed i was crying my stomach hurt we laughed for like 10 minutes and the rest of the time we could not stop laughing the way she said that it was just, it was so loud the whole store heard her the whole place heard her say this it was just my god so anyway so that happened but at the end of the night when we were all packing up to leave a woman named Pauline, who is a Facebook friend of mine, and she's uh, on Stitch Mania, I think. She came up to me, introduced herself, and gave me this little package, which I was so just amazed. She had gotten me this tote bag from Joann's, which I love these. My friend Jill has one of these. I've never owned one. It's like plasticky, but it's really awesome. So in this, she had gotten me this card. <gasps> It's a fox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then she had gotten me this mug, which you know me in coffee mugs. Love that. And then she had gotten me this little angel in this cool bag. So I just realized I forgot my notebook. I'm going to have to get up. This little angel, see, it's like pewter. But the cool thing is, it's magnetic. Like, I could put something in there. Snap shut. I love this. Pauline, thank you so much. So, had those little gifts. And in the mail last week, someone named Suzanne, I don't want to say everybody's last name, but Suzanne, another uh, floss tube fan of mine, sent me a $25 gift certificate to the Stitching Post. So I spent that, of course. I was just floored. I'm like, I get this envelope and I'm like, I didn't order anything from the Stitching Post, right? No, I got a gift certificate, $25 one, which was totally awesome. So let me go and get my, I gotta get up because I forgot my notebook that has like my notes and I know I'm shaking the damn camera, damn it. Oh my God. It's cause the, it's tight over there. Where's my notebook? Okay. No, no, Layla, be quiet. Okay, wow, you just saw my face really up close. All right. What has caught my eye in the stitching community this week as I do gymnastics to get back in my chair? Someone had posted on Stitch Mania the longest cross stitch work is a riverside scene at the King Ming. I don't know if you know how, to, how that's pronounced, festival. Here's a picture of it. Holy moly, people. That's really long. It says it took 18 months and embroidered by 10 professionals and over 180 days. I can't even fathom. Now, the second piece of information that caught my eye, Cross Stitch and Needlework magazine is closing. And this is very sad because I love that magazine. I have a subscription. I've had a subscription for a little while. So the winter 2016 is their last one, which that's sad. So of course I went and bought some more of those 99 cent magazines they have on Hirschner's website. <laughs> and then finally, the last piece that has caught my eye, this will warm the cockles of your heart. There is a guy, I was watching my local news one day last week with my husband, which I normally do not watch the news because it's mostly depressing. There is a guy called the Hat Man. And he has cancer and he's in hospice right now. He, and I don't know how long he's been doing this, he knits hats. I'm going to put a link down below to the story so you can watch the video. But he knits all of these hats while he's laying in bed on this like plastic loom kind of thing. And he donates them to homeless shelters and to things like that. I literally like cried a little bit when I saw this story because... Just such a wonderful, selfless man to do this at the end of his life. And he has made like 8,000 hats or some crazy number like that. 
And I mean, he's famous now. He's And people have donated floss, floss, yarn. They've donated yarn and he just, he just makes these hats. I want one of those hats. Yeah. So check that out. Click on that link below. I'll put that link. Okay. Uh, what have I been stitching on this week? I'm sorry. I'm, I am really tired today, folks. <laughs> it's been a day already and it's only Monday. I have been working on my Bent Creek Oodles of Autumn because like I said, I'm a one project at a time person now. I'm going to insert a picture here of the last time you saw it. Okay, here's what it looks like now. Don't I have so much done? I only have to get done. There is a, two owls here and then a squirrel and like a berry. That's it. I'm almost done. And this is charted for Gast, Gentle Art Sampler Threads and Weeks Dye Works and 2DMC. Man, I love using the over-dyed threads. I especially love the Gentle Art Sampler threads because the variegation is so subtle. In love with those threads, man. And because I love this one so much, Ben Creek also has Oodles of Spring and Oodles of Winter. I ordered them yesterday from 123 Stitch. The winter one, I want to stitch that like early next year, like January. It is the cutest thing. It has like a seal and a bunny and oh my God, it's just cuteness overload. So I should be done this by the end of the week. Hopefully I'm hoping because next I'll show you what I'm going to stitch next. Cause I have it. Okay. Haul. Let's talk about haul and stitch from stash for a minute. I know I had said I was going to do stitch from stash and I joined the group and everything. But in light of what's going on with my cancer and dealing with that, I pulled out of it. I pulled out of it and a whole lot of other groups. The only stitching group I belong to now is Stitch Mania. I pulled out of Stitch from Stash because I did not want the added pressure on myself of having to update the spreadsheet, report to the group, show my pictures, all that. And here's my thought. People eat the piece of cake. Buy the cross stitch pattern, go on that trip, see the movie, do it. Um, now, there's a line there, obviously. Don't eat the whole cake, just eat a piece of the cake. You know what I mean? Because you just never know. You never know when your life is going to be turned on its head in an instant, okay? So, I am not going to be buying as much as I was, but I'm still going to be buying. It may be more than $25 in a month. It may not, um, but I see something and I really, really love it. I'm going to get it. You're going to see. I have some haul and I've bought some stuff recently that's, you know, will be coming in, but okay. First, I'll show you what I got the Stitch Post because I was very excited to go there and, you know, spend my gift certificate and I had a list. So the first thing I bought, let me try to pull all this out of here. The first thing I bought was some Thread Heaven because even though I like the gassed thread, the over dyed threads, I find for me that they knot up. So I'm hoping this will stop that. And I contacted Abby Bella Stitch to get one of her containers for it, a purple lid of course. So hopefully that'll be on its way to me soon. But the first thing that I got was I got all the DMC, and I'm trying to grab it here, all the DMC for my Harry Potter pillow sampler. Not the big one. I, I don't think I'm going to be stitching that one. But the pillow sampler is right up my alley. You know I had already bought that. And I watched the second Harry Potter movie last night. Loved it! Now I only got five more to go, right? But yeah. So need to pick fabric for that because I want to start that next year. Mm-hmm. But guess what color is in it? 666 people. <laughs> I am never going to look at that color the same way again. Now, before Bird Lady and all that, I never looked at that color like the devil's color. Mm. But yeah, 
all the floss for Harry Potter, bleh, Harry Potter, Harry Potter pillow sampler. So that was my first purchase. And then I also got, remember this one? The Thankful Owls. After I finish Oodles of Autumn, I'm stitching this. Tracy P had a really good thought. She told me to stitch that fork in Petite Treasure Braid Silver. I might do that because I'm not sure what color that is. Now, I also had a thought because I bought all the overdyed threads for it. I just love the overdyed threads. Now, obviously, for a piece that small, I could have just got DMC. But no. Mm -mm. So I may stitch that fork because that looks kind of dark for a fork. I have, I think it's gassed in pewter, aged pewter, and it's like a bluey, silvery, I'm going to have to say. But maybe I will stitch in a petite treasure braid, silver. But it, aren't they cute? Yeah. So I'm going to stitch that next, and that's kind of small, so maybe I'll be able to crack ass on that and get that done before Thanksgiving. So got that. And then I got a couple patterns. I got the Prairie Schoolers Witching Hour because I had seen Fiber Artsy stitching that. Had to get that. And this one's a little bit hard to find. One, two, three stitch didn't have it, believe it or not. So, yeah. And again, I love these because they call for like three colors of thread. Can't be that. And then I got some Barbara Anna designs because, man, I had added so many of her designs to my cart on Creative Poppy and then didn't pull the trigger because it was like $56 worth of patterns. But I got this one, the autumn tree. Look at that fox. That was the whole reason I got it. Now I like the rest of it. Oh my God. Yeah, got that one. And then the store had this one as a model stitched behind the counter. Beautiful. I love the bright reds. Stitchingly ever after. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was all I bought, the stitching post. That totaled $58, if you can believe that. And it actually totaled like 75 or 73 because I used my $25 gift certificate. Yeah. And I paid for stitch night in January because they're having another one. So I did that. Okay. Now more haul. I do have more haul. I got a bunch in. And I have a couple gifts still down there. Jottery Designs is having a Christmas sale and... I think I mentioned it in my last video because you get to use all her threads. So I got the thread pack in the mail today. And I'm going to insert a picture here. Someone has stitched the sale so far. I think it's Rebecca. I don't remember her last name, but it was on Stitch Mania and it looks awesome. So here's a picture of what she has stitched so far. Yeah, and I think she used the threads, so I can't wait to do that. And then I got some fabric. I got some of my Picture This Plus orders in. I think I had gotten two orders of theirs. Yeah, I did. Okay. So the first piece, and these are all Lugana, 32 count. Um, Voodoo, which it's not that bright in real life. It's the lighting this time of day. Let me try to turn this on. Yeah, that doesn't help. <laughs> Okay, so this is like an orangey, a light orangey pink with purple. Yeah, I really like that. And then I got Eek, which I thought this would be a brighter orange, but it's not. A darker orange. It's like gray, purple. Yeah, these would be good for Halloween pieces, I guess. This is my favorite one that I got, Cauldron, which it's like a blue-gray with orange spots. I almost wish I would have got a fat quarter of it. I think what I am going to do on this is the Prairie Moon to follow you. I am not content because I think Emily C stitched hers on this one. It looks perfect for it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I got, oh, that was an eek. What was that? How did I get two pieces of eek? I did. I don't know how I did that. Okay. Two pieces of eek then. There's the other one. Lord. That's a sign you're buying too much, isn't it? Okay, and then I got... This is the last... Oh, my last fabric of the month from Color Cascade Fabrics. This is really pretty. This is 32 Count Joblin. And it was called 
fall to pieces. I got a piece of 32 count Murano from Jottery Designs called Nevermore. And it's, I thought there was going to be some more variegation in it, but there isn't. And it's like a dark gray, but it has like streaks up it. You can't really tell. It looks like trees, like at night. So I'm thinking a good Halloween piece with something in the middle of that. Yeah, that's definitely going to be Halloween. And then I got my last fabric of the month from Under the Sea Fabrics, which is 32 count Joblin in lapis. And I love this piece. This is like a really pretty purple. Love that. Oh my God. You know what would be good for this? I just thought about it having it held up. Um, the Cricut Collections Master and the Macabre. Yeah, that might look really good on that. Oh my God, I think I just solved that for myself. Okay. And then I got my Fabric of the Month. My last one. Well, no, not my last one because I prepaid for like three months. So probably my next to last one from the Crafty Kitten. And somehow I signed up for two... Fabric of the months from her, like one fat quarter and one fat eighth. I don't know why or how. So I have two pieces of the September. I'm not even going to take it out of the package. It's like a gray purple. It's pretty. So I have two pieces of this. <laughs> and then now this one I will pull out. Because when you sign up for her fabric of the month, you will um, get of another piece that is from her regular line and this is citrus burst this is pretty a fat quarter of that 32 count joblin so have that and i also got my last fabric of the month from pole stitches which is 28 count joblin in key lime i'm not going to take that out this would be a good piece for um wizard of oz um Either the Quaker, the Oz Quaker, or the uh, Satsuma Street over the rainbow. Okay. Now, in my video last week, I showed my minders from Brenda's Minders and more. And I had made a comment how some of them were a little smaller than I thought. I wasn't unhappy with them. It was just I thought they were going to be a little bit bigger. <sighs> Well, Brenda had contacted me on Facebook and said she was so sorry I was not happy with the minders. And she sent me some more. She sent me some free ones. She sent me, I love this one, the Book of Spells. That's my favorite one. But she had sent me a bigger trick-or-treat because the one I ordered from her was pretty small. But the witch, a fox, hello. And then this treat bag. Thank you, Brenda. I, I was not unhappy with the needle minders. I really wasn't. But I was really stunned that she sent me all these for free. So I was very, very thankful for that. Okay. I received another gift of a pattern from someone. Uh, this is from Linda. She's a Facebook friend. She sent me Blackbird Designs Casting a Spell. I do not have this one. Uh, love that. Oh my God. Now, instead of stitching it like this, I think I'll stitch it just all one big piece. It's so cool though, isn't it? Putting it in that little thing would be cool. But yeah, I think I'm just going to stitch it all together. So I got that from her. Now stuff that, oh, I got one more gift. Sandy, who is also one of my friends and she went to stitch night. She had inherited this book from, I forget who it was. She told me. But it's Ginny Thompson, you know, who makes the flower thread? It's Ginny Thompson's favorite illustrations from children's classics and counted cross-stitch. This book is from 1976, people. It has some Alice in Wonderland designs, some Wizard of Oz. But when I was flipping through, what, what made me laugh out loud was in the beginning of the book, she gives you, like, instructions on how to cross-stitch. And this one line says, don't confuse counted cross stitch with the cross stitch, the cross stitch embroidery you may have done as a child, where large X's were stamped on a piece of cloth. Have you ever done stamped cross stitch? Uh -uh. Uh, and oh, she also says, now take a note, kids. 
Bear in mind that the finished piece of embroidery will not be the same size as the charted design. <laughs> like, if your chart is huge, your design is not going to be that huge. Obviously, right? But yeah, the book is so cool, though. So thank you, Sandy, for that book. And it looks like the patterns are hand-drawn. No lie. But yeah, 1976. I was two years old when this came out. Surely not cross-stitching it, too. Okay, some things I got that I had bought. I did buy another Barbara Anna Designs from Creative Poppy, because you can get the PDF right away. Someone on Instagram is stitching this, and I just, I had to get it. It's called I Like This Place. Oh, my God, I love those colors. Like, she, the person who's stitching it on Instagram has some of this border done, and it looks so great. Like, the colors are so bright. Yeah, I love that. So I got that. And then, of course, I had to get the Quaker designs from RETM, the Oz one. Now, this picture does not even do this near justice. I saw the stitched piece on Facebook, and it looks awesome. This picture is not a great picture. But when I ordered the Oz one, of course I had to order the Alice one. So, can't wait to stitch these. I don't know when. And I'm sure by the time I get around to either one of these, she'll have more released. So, that'll be awesome. And then I had bought some cross stitch and needlework magazines from Hirschner's with their 99 cent sale. I bought a bunch. And I bought like eight more when I found out they were closing down. So, I flipped through these and I thought I would show you the designs that caught my eye that I really liked. Now, this is from the January 2015 issue. I think there was a lot in here that I liked. Seems that way. Oh yeah, I like this one. From Sam Sarah Designs. Santa is here. I've never stitched, but look, that's memory thread. That green stuff, it like sticks out. I've used memory thread, thread before. It's very cool. I really like it. And then this one by Barbara Anna. It's called Classic Christmas Charm. Of course, I had to go order the other two magazines that so you can get all nine of them. So I got those from eBay because Hirschner's didn't have them. Oh my God, I love that. I love that border. I'm a sucker for borders. And it's like perfectly square. Yeah. Love that. And then this one caught my eye. I don't stitch Biscornus, but look at this tree. Wouldn't that be cool to do that? Yeah. One of you might like to do that. So that caught my eye. And then I also really like this one. This is called Christmas Red Work. Yeah, I like that one too. And then... Ooh, this one, Scandinavian tree. Also, one color designs are appealing to me. It's so cool. You can just keep zipping along with not having to change colors, right? And then finally in that magazine, there, oh, I can't show you the pattern, crap. It is their motifs, and these are called Let It Snow. And they usually just put a bunch of motifs together and they're really cute. They're like snowmen and stuff. Okay, the next one is November 2012. I love the turkey on the front, so that's why I bought it. But there were two designs in here that I liked. Okay, the turkey. It's called Thanksgiving Turkey. Mm-hmm. I really like those pumpkins, actually. And then the other one was... This one's cool. This is by Ships Manor. It's called Home Sweet Home. I like that. It's got fall colors. That's why I like it. Then this next one is September 2013. This is more like a Halloween issue. And there were a couple in here that I liked. This one called Trick or Treat. Yeah, I like that. I like that border. And then, now this I would never stitch it, but wow, this is a piece of needlework, folks. An iris, iris bench seat. That whole thing is stitched. First of all, no one would be sitting on it. That's for damn sure. Yeah, look at that. I can't even imagine how long that would take to stitch that. 
And then finally, oh, I, this magazine, like I said, the September 2013 one, there's a whole article on memory thread basics. For any of you that want to know how to use memory thread, a whole article in here is about it. So you should pick that up if you want to know about it. It's very detailed and really good. Okay, the next one I got was spring of 2015. And there's a bunch of designs in here I liked, apparently. Yeah, of course I like the dessert one that's on the front cover. Patisserie. Uh-huh. I don't know if I ever stitched that. It's a lot of, like, fractional stitches and backstitch. But it's nice to look at. This I loved. It's called Spring Bouquet, and it looks like DMC color variations. It's so pretty, though. Just one color. One color, people. And then... Okay, I also like their motifs, which was Luck of the Irish. I can't show you because it's the pattern. But then here's an Irish Blessing. This is kind of dark drab green colors. It probably look really good with brighter colors. But I did like that. I like the border design. And then, I don't know if I would ever stitch this, but it's a bunch of Christmas trees on an apron. I just like the trees. I thought they were cute. And then, oh yeah, okay. I'm sure many of you get cross-stitch catalogs like the Stitchery or Hirschner's. Do you ever look at the people that are posed in these catalogs? Look at this woman. Look how she is stitching. Number one, no one stitches like that. You wouldn't sit perched on the edge of a chair. I don't see any thread pattern, scissors, nothing. There's no way in hell she's stitching like that. I think these catalogs need to have more realistic stitchers. As in, she looks really pretty and, and nice and made up too. Uh, they should have someone in pajama pants with their hair in a bun. Uh, cats and dogs laying all over them. You know, maybe a glass of wine next to her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She's, I mean, her boots have like, Heels on them. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, no. Your back would be freaking killing you stitching like that. She's not stitch. No. She's not stitching. Mm -mm. I saw that and like, what the hell? Yeah, no. Two more magazines, people, and then that's all I got. Okay, fall 2015, which is another, you know, winds up being a Halloween issue. So, ooh, this was one of my favorite ones. It's called... Night in the Pumpkin Patch. Now, they do this all in black. I'm thinking, though, that, like, the outside border might look good in orange. And then the inside, see how there's leaves? Do that in, like, gassed autumn leaves color. Leave the cats black. I think that would look really good. Now, I realize it's all black because it says night in the pumpkin patch. But it'd be cool to put some other colors in there, wouldn't it? Uh-huh. I think it would. Yeah. So I really like that one. And then one more in this. Oh. <laughs> in the back of these, they do a Q&A with designers. And this one was like, what is your biggest stitching finishing disaster? And one that caught my eye was Jane Greenoff, which if you read any British cross-stitch magazines, she is famous in those. She said she had sat up all night to complete a complicated sampler, which was mounted and framed the next morning and sent by carrier to the BBC for photography for a book. It was needed in for the advances for the Frankfurt Book Fair. The art director left the stitched piece on an underground train and it was never seen again. And it was before it was photographed. So it makes you wonder what the hell they did. They would have had to substitute something. I would have cried. Left it on the train and it was never seen again. Somebody stole it. Somebody took it. But it, oh my God. Mm -mm. I can't even imagine. And the final magazine that I currently have, this was my favorite one, the September 2012 issue. I love that design. Now, will I stitch that on black? Hell to the no, people. 
No stitching on black for this one. Many of you do. I give you props for that. Okay, this is one I liked too. It's called Autumn Thanks by Ursula Michael with the back stitch. I love that. That's really pretty. And then of course the owl design. Yeah. It's called Bewitching Owl. Ooh. Yeah. So that was it. I, oh, I also have a little tidbit. One of the women at the Stitch Night marks her pattern off with colored pencil instead of a highlighter. I like that idea because I always have a fear of dropping my highlighter on my fabric and having it marked up and then I would start crying. <laughs> so because I colored in coloring books last year very heavily, I have a really good set of Faber-Castell Faber colored pencils. So I now mark my patterns with colored pencils since Saturday night. It works really well, too. And I have no fear of dropping it on my pattern. The final piece of info I want to share with you is a shout-out. And this is a shout-out for all shout-outs. A floss tube, young lady, Kiwi Does Crafts. Now, many of you already watch her videos because Lisa, who is another stitching friend of mine, at Stitch Night on Saturday, she recommended her channel to me. And yesterday, I started watching them. Now, mind you, I started with video number one because she has like eight of them. First off, she's, I want to say she's 12, 13, 14. She doesn't say her age, but she looks like she's that young. So I'm stitching along, and she's talking. And first off, she was working on Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Storytime Sampler, which looked awesome. She was almost finished with it. But then she says... Oh, and here I'm going to show you my heaven and earth designs. I actually paused mid-needle and was like, are you kidding me right now? She's stitching a heaven and earth designs. She was stitching it on 28 count linen over one. Um, she didn't like that, so she's now stitching it on 18 count Ada. But she's still doing it. And then she was stitching a dimensions kit. I mean, she's hardcore. She, and she knows all the lingo. She's like 30 trapped in a 13 year old's body. I was floored. My mouth, the first video, I think my jaw, mouth hanging open the whole time. I, go watch her, seriously. If I had a daughter, that's who I would want because I would imagine I was watching Floss Tube together, stitching, I mean, she mentioned Carolyn Mazio. She, <laughs> she knows the lingo. She goes, here's my finish, not an FFO. I'm like, oh my God, yeah. Uh-huh. And she does really good work. She she does really good stuff, people. And her mom stitches, too. Uh, I don't know if her mom does floss tube videos, but I almost have all her videos watched. I think I'm on, like, number six. Yeah, they're awesome. So I'm going to link her down below. But go and watch her. Kiwi does crafts. And her name is Kiwi, like the fruit. I'm dumb done, people. Yeah. Her name is Kiwi. Okay, I think that's all I have. That's 42 minutes. And by the time I insert that commercial, if I can, it's going to be like 45 minutes almost. So I will still be doing my videos every week. And I will update you. I am not going to be putting posts on Stitch Mania about it because I don't want to, you know, that board is not for my health concerns. If you ever want to private message me or send me an email, feel free. I answer all of them. I'm not bothered. You don't have to feel like you're bothering me. But thank you, thank you, thank you again for all of your well wishes and prayers and just keeping me in your thoughts because this is going to be a bit of a road. I, I'm going to have a journey until probably um, the beginning of March will be the end of my radiation. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a time. And given that it's the holidays, it's not the... When is there ever a good time to have cancer though, right? Um but yeah, so thank you again. Happy stitching, happy stashing, and I'll see you next week. Bye!